Hello there, I'm so glad you could join me. My name is Bonnie and today we will be unboxing the September 2018 Wizarding World Loot Crate. Before we get into the unboxing of this month's, I wanted to talk to you for a second about the previous box that we received for July. It was the, it was the Magical Creatures themed box and the t-shirt had had a manufacturing error and it arrived about two weeks after the box arrived so it didn't make it into my previous video and i just wanted to go ahead and show you how it turned out so spoiler alert if you haven't watched that one and you and you want to go check it out go ahead but i'm going to show you now what the shirt looks like so we have a navy blue colored shirt that has silhouettes of a whole bunch of different magical creatures. And the silhouettes are two different shades of green. It doesn't glow in the dark. It looks like it would, but it does not. But it's pretty cute. I would have liked color, a little bit of color, but it's, it's cute as it is. And it's fun spotting all the different creatures and naming them off. But then there is also one other thing that I wanted to show you. So the item that I want to show you was in the previous box from July. It's a bi-monthly subscription box, so it wasn't last month, it was the month before that. Um, but it is an item from there, so if you haven't seen the box, this is a spoiler alert, I'm about to show the item. So what it is, is a set of four Fantastic Beasts cookie cutters. We have an Erumpent, a Swooping Evil, a Bow Truckle, and a Niffler. And I went ahead and I baked some cookies and I wanted to show you how they turned out. So here we have the designs that the cookie cutters created. We have some nifflers. We have some swooping evils. The erumpent. And bow truckle. So I just wanted to show you how the product from the last box turned out. I think they were pretty good cookie cutters. They left their print pretty well in the dough. I just used a sugar cookie recipe and I followed the directions for cutout cookies so they weren't supposed to balloon up very much but if you were to say do a chocolate chip cookie recipe it probably wouldn't work very well. Um, but overall, I think they were great and they were easy to use and I enjoyed it. And now I've got a lot of cookies to eat. <laughs> so let's get into what you are all here for, the unboxing. So the theme for this month's box is back to school. And this is the September box. It's arriving in early October, but I think that's kind of the norm with Loot Crate. So we're opening it now. And the sticker is the Hogwarts crest on this nice maroon sticker. Now I have no hope of trying to peel the sticker off nicely. I'm just going to rip it and destroy it unintentionally. So I'd rather just cut through it with a knife. Now once you cut the sticker and open up the box to see the design and not cheat and look ahead, you see, you see the Great Hall. Oh my gosh. Oh, yay. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And the floating candles. That's so pretty. It's like I am back at Hogwarts, except I was never there because I'm just a mere muggle. Okay, set this aside. And I'm going to feel for the first thing. What is this? It's large. Ooh, okay, so I don't know what this is yet, but it has the Hufflepuff badger on it because I am a Hufflepuff. Let's see. Okay, we have this kind of like rucksack bag. It's got a shoulder strap as well as handle and it has a pocket in the front and a buckle. <gasps> Yay! Oh, 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 it unravels. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> 
I think I've seen this design before once. I'm not very familiar with bags that do this, but this is cool. I don't know specifically what you would use this for, but this is really cool. And it's like decent quality. I'm happy. There's my house emblem, my crest. I've got it on a little, on a little teeny tiny pin on my cardigan as well. Okay, cute. I like this. Let's get into the next one. Okay, I'm feeling... Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a notebook. It is a Hufflepuff notebook. All right. Is this an exclusive? It looks like it. It says Loot Crate Edition in that little... A little print. Was this one a Loot Crate exclusive? I'm not sure. I might have to see later on the spoiler card, but this is cute. I want to open this up and show you what the inside looks like. So here we have it unwrapped. It comes with this little cardboard slip that you can take off. And here are the inner pages. So it's not lined. It has the house crest on it. Property of Bonnie but I don't know really what you would do so much with this because you can't use it for drawing because there's a big old <laughs> crest in the middle and it doesn't have lines so you can't really write in it very evenly. So that's interesting, an interesting style choice that they chose, but the book is decent quality and it smells good. <laughs> it smells like a, like a new book. So this is very cute and I like this. Let's go to the next item. What? Um, it's soft. Where is the opening? Here we go. That took longer than it should have. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. This, and it comes down to a point at the bottom. Okay. I was, I'm lost for words. This is beautiful. I am shocked. Do you see how beautiful this badger is? Oh my word. All right. I haven't even read it yet. Let's see. Patience, dedication, loyalty. This is beautiful. And I really, really love this. And it's like nice. It's really good quality too. It's not like cheap. It's not see-through. And I'm very happy with this. Let's go to the next thing. And it's large and it's, it's the pin. The, this is the pin? This is humongous. Do you see how large this is? Oh my goodness. Let's open this up. I'm, this is such a Hufflepuff box. Oh my goodness. Ooh, oh my word. That is nice. I love the tassel. So cute, so official. Wow, what? This is the back of it. Oh, is this a, oh, is it not the pin? Is it the, um, is it a bookmark? It looks more like a bookmark with this back. I thought it was a pin, but I, I think it's a bookmark. It's very fancy. It's really nice. It's heavy, it's metal, and I'm in love with it. Oh my gosh, this is such a good, such a good house themed box. Um, I think that was, yeah, that was the last item in here. And look, we got another note. <laughs> Similar to last month when we got a note. I wonder what it's gonna say. To our brave Gryffindors, clever Ravenclaws, cunning Slytherins, and loyal Hufflepuffs, we are so excited for you to unbox your Back to Hogwarts crate. We just wanted to let you know that one of your items needs a little more time to arrive. Look forward to receiving your pin in a separate shipment by mid-October. 
So, okay, that wasn't in place of the pin. I was, I was a little worried that instead of doing a pin that they were, that they were gonna do that house, that house emblem. But I don't wanna say what the pin is, That's, unless you wanna know. If you wanna know what the pin is, don't cover your ears. Okay, the pin is a Hedwig pin. Okay. <laughs> that was anticlimactic, but let's see. This is the spoiler card and it looks like a little envelope. Back to Hogwarts. It's time for another magical school year. Prepare yourself for adventures ahead with these back to school essentials inspired by going back to Hogwarts. This creates magical loot. Okay, so it shows you a picture of the pin in here and it's not blowing me away, but <laughs> this quite did. I was very impressed. Okay, I'm gonna show you the pin. Are you ready? Right down there. But it also has all the other items that arrived this month. You can see all the other houses and the uh, banners that they got. All the other journals, all the other bookmarks. Let's see, does that say? Yes, Hogwarts House bookmark. And then their rucksack. Would you call it a rucksack? A book bag. It's a book bag. It's a bag for your books. Okay, well, I really enjoyed this crate. None of the items felt cheap, and I really appreciate that because that is a bit of an issue with some of the loot crate items. Um, but I was so, so very pleased with this crate and I hope you enjoyed it too. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this crate. Tell me what house you're in and um, what was your favorite item? I think my favorite item is the banner because I was just shocked and taken aback and overjoyed at how good quality and how beautiful and it's quite large. And I think I'm gonna have to say my least favorite item was the journal, just because there were no lines in it. And if there's no lines in a journal, I would think that it's like a sketchbook type thing. But it also had the house emblem on each page. So your sketches are gonna have a big old, a big old badger in the middle of it. So that's the only reason why I would say that it's my least favorite item. All right, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up for me if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to me if you haven't already. That would be super, super cool. <laughs> and until next time, you guys, goodbye and good luck.